Rocky Mountain Horror Show. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to do treats first? Well, I mean, I think we do treats so that we don't have to smell anyone's feet. The, okay, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's one or the other. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Trick or treat. Let's do the treats. Yeah. These are snot your regular gummy. Oh, gross. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's a box of boogers. A sour box of boogers. <laughs> sour box. Yeah, and we got these over at Love at First Bite, right? We did. Yeah, ooh, that was the same day that I got that Thor's chocolate huckleberry one. Ooh, that thing was good as fuckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're okay with me saying that. Slide that, that one really past good. the sensors, yeah. <laughs> it was really good. These are, the okay, what we're about to enjoy now are tangy gummy boogies okay, that look and feel real. We can't call it that or else I can't Do eat they it. Do they taste real? <laughs> Uh, here's the flavors. Snotter melon. Oh, I'm grossing myself out here. Oh, sour green boogie or slime apple. Oh, maybe it's sour green apple and pineapple? That, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. <clears throat> I was trying to figure that out. Yeah. Okay, we can't keep calling these boogers or else I can't eat them. I'm, they're, yeah, they're yellow no. and green. Yeah, I mean, they look like Sprite. Great, guys. Who makes these? Who the hell <laughs> makes these? Some asshole. Is it M&M <laughs> Mars? Is it? Imaginings 3 Inc. Okay. All hmm. right, good. I'm glad a major company hasn't jumped on this. Here's something funny. Hmm. Guess what guess what their address is? What? 6401 Gross Point Road. Fitting. All right. <laughs> they got the location first and just ran with it. Yeah, is that in Gross Point blank? <laughs> yeah, all right. Is John Cusack uh, the CEO? Oh, they smell good. All right, well, yeah, no, fork they, them over yeah. here. I just want to get this over with. Okay, I want to try a watermelon Ugh. one because I right. like watermelon. Okay, I'm just pretending that they're gummies put out by Sprite, mm -hmm. and that's why they're yellow and green and they're cute. Totally. Hmm. Those are delightful. Damn it. They're good. They're really good. Mm -hmm. They even smell good. They do. Yeah. Um, the texture reminds me a lot of those uh, Sour Patch Kits, because they've got the dusting of sugar on the outside. Oh, man, these are fresh, too. Yeah, they're really fresh, huh? This is so gross. It's not. No. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I didn't mean to make a pun. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no, they're not gross because they're they're just candy. Carly, they're just candy. You don't need to be grossed out. Is it just me or did you have the childhood rhyme? Everybody, everybody's doing it, doing it, picking their nose and chewing it, chewing Ew. it. Everybody thinks it's candy, but it's not. That's disgusting. I don't think we had that one when I was a kid because I think we were really trying to discourage that behavior at the time. Now I can't swallow this. <laughs> it's just bright gummies. See, they're green and yellow and green, green and okay. yellow. Okay, all right. That one's really hard to get out. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I like the pineapple one though. I like the watermelon best. I want to say I don't think I'm a better person for having tried this. No, definitely not. Your 12 year old kid. Your 14 year old kid who's going to be naming one of Idaho's snow plows mm -hmm. this winter <laughs> will probably love them. Right. Okay, as part of our Rocky Mountain Horror Show here on <laughs> IFAF, Carly is really into haunted happenings right here in East Idaho. I sure am. So, I, what do you got for us this time? So, I grew up on little local ghost stories. And I worked in a little local ghost story as well as one of my one of my first jobs. It was maybe like my fourth one in. Uh, but I worked at Treasures in Historic Downtown. Yes. It is now the downtown dress shop. But that was a really cool one to work at because while I was there, they were actually featured on the museum's haunted history tour. So I got to learn a lot about it at the time. And it was really fun. And um, is there any truth to, because I've been in the basement of the Kelt. Uh-huh. A guy was generous and kind enough to take me down there one day with a buddy of mine who had some questions about the building particularly. Uh -huh. Is it is there any truth to the rumor that there were tunnels uh -huh. running from building to building? Here's the thing. I know that there are tunnels running to some of the buildings. That's a fact. Like there's too much... Evidence of that. And you go in the true. basement and you see they walled it off. Right. Yeah. We were pretty sure that Treasures had a tunnel back when we worked there uh, because it made sense. It was part of the era. It had the same basement as a lot of them. It, it just would have made sense based on all of the evidence around us. 
We were never able to find them because the basement was drywalled and made to look nice. So the lava rock was mostly covered. There were a couple places where it weren't, where it wasn't. That, that's crazy to see lava rock basements. I know, right? In a lot of the buildings downtown, yeah. It's, it is crazy. Well, and there are some people who think that lava rock, because it's so porous, sort of holds energy. And that's why maybe some of the buildings <laughs> in historic downtown might be more haunted than other places. More crevices <laughs> for the spirits to yeah. abide in. Yeah, little hidey holes. So the basement of treasures was one of the scariest places ever. I really did try not to go down there alone if I could help it. And if I did have to go down there, I always tried to stay in the front room instead of having to go in the back. And I definitely didn't like to go into what we called the shoe room back when I was working there. Not alone, if I could help it at least. Uh-huh. Now, because, I've been in the basement of treasures because yes. that's where the men's dressing rooms were. It is. But that back shoe room, okay, It just had the worst energy. It was spooky. And it just, I, you know, because it was all dark and dusty and just yucky, it just made it feel extra haunted. Now, when that building was first made back in 1901, it was originally an an undertaker slash furniture store. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you know, because what's a coffin but a couch plus a side? (laughs) Sure. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. So so we- It's a bed with sides. (laughs) Yeah, basically. (laughs) So we speculate that um, that room may have been where they worked on the bodies because it tended to stay very cool, especially being in the basement in 1901 before modern refrigeration. Right. And that was also right by the elevator shaft. And so it would make sense because then they could, you know, put the body, they could work on the body down there, put it in the elevator and lift it to the other floors. So that's kind of neat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but we actually, at one point while I was working there, had a medium come in and she pointed out a couple of ghosts that she saw. I remember there was a gal who she was talking about that was like a 1950s looking woman. Like that was the entity that she saw. Mm-hmm. We don't really know who that could have been. But one of the... um, She burnt the coffee. (laughs) Right. One of the spirits that she identified, she described to us as having a handlebar mustache and a cowboy hat being from like a clearly Western era. We're pretty sure that that was John Henry, the original owner of the building. Uh, Wow. Who is actually currently buried with his family in Rose Hill Cemetery. Uh, Okay. Oh, and there's another... Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's another good one. Um, There's a knocking grave, right? Oh, yeah. In Rose Hill? We'll get to that. Don't you worry. All right. (laughs) So, yeah. Anyway, fun spooky shops in historic downtown, especially with Ladies Shopping Day coming up this weekend. Maybe go in. Ask the employees about their spooky stories. It is, after all, spooky season. (laughs) 